Hi. Um, actually, it relates to the same question, pretty much. I used to actually work at the Eros Farm School. And uh, the question that I have for you is, why isn't there any funding for this uh, at the first private schools? I know there is no funding available, but uh, um, there's other provinces that offer funding for their privately, like, private schools. So why isn't there any funding? What is the reason behind why any of the, of the parties are not offering any funding for the, for the schools? Because you have, to, you have to know that the schools, yes, I know there, there's like community centers and all these things, but the schools itself, um, it's important what the teachers are being given, what are the resources available in the school itself for the students to learn. For example, in the Yaro Islamic School, um, they are more focused on their roofs sometimes than, and, and they cannot focus on, on uh, teaching the kids the proper way, even though they do it, even though they, they are excellent in teaching the students. And the students that come from there, most of them go to the university and they're tough students. They're very dedicated students who have great self-esteem. So why is it that any party is not considering or thinking even about offering uh, Funding for the private schools. And I just ask you that you're saying other provinces do. Do you know what the name of the provinces do? Quebec, um, Alberta, um, uh, British Columbia. So the first respondent will be Alex Hill. Um, I, I think the reality, especially in this economic climate, is that we, we can't um, suddenly create. Uh, Muslim school boards, Jewish school boards, Hindu school boards. Um, the second you allocate funding to one religious group, every religious group in every community is going to want a school board of their own. Um, I, I have made it quite clear in my campaign so far, and, and I, I've spoken about it at length, that uh, the situation at the moment is discriminatory. Uh, the United Nations Human Rights Committee told the province of Ontario several years ago uh, that the situation was discriminatory because the reality is that Catholic children have an apparent right to a religious education and Muslim, Jewish, Hindu, Buddhist, uh, many other uh, religious communities don't. And that is problematic. Uh, the official position of the Green Party um, is over time for a single amalgamated school board which would effectively remove the apparent right of Catholics to a Catholic education at the expense of other taxpayers and, and religious communities. Um, personally, uh, as I think I've said uh, over the past hour or so, I think choice in schooling is very important. And hopefully over the medium or long term, we can see a situation in which parents have much more of a say without it hitting their wallets, um, where they send their kids to school and what their kids are learning. Um, I don't believe it's necessarily the case that the state or the government always knows what's best for children. Unfortunately, across many areas of government nowadays, we're seeing bigger government and more control over people at the local level. I would like to see those changes reversed. Next response, I'll be after that. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, parents have a choice. Parents have a choice to send their children to publicly funded uh, schools, uh, English or French. Uh, parents have a choice to send uh, their kids to private schools. Parents have a choice to homeschool their children. All those choices uh, exist, um, but the choice, the cost that goes with that choice is that if you send your children to public schools, uh, English or French, then you don't pay for anything. You, you get that as part of uh, the taxes you pay. If you chose to homeschool them or send to private school, then you incur the cost. That is uh, government policy, uh, and that's the, that's the choice. That's the cost of the choice that you're making because you're still free to send your children to publicly funded school. As Alex mentioned, and I think he's right, that um, you know there, there is a, a economic climate that we live in. Uh, these are tough economic times. There is a $14 million deficit the government has, um, and it has to draw a line somewhere. And I think our focus and primary responsibility is to publicly funded education system, and we need to sure, ensure that any dollars that we can find we invest in our publicly funded schools, post-secondary institutions, uh, to make sure that the vast majority of the children attending those schools uh, have resources available to them. And of course, publicly funded school welcomes uh, kids from any background, uh, from any socioeconomic uh, background, and parents are free to send the children to, to those uh, to public schools if they choose to. Well, 
Yeah, so when we talk about uh, public uh, I mean choices in the schools, it just uh, takes me back to my uh, years at the University of Ottawa studying uh, uh, education and uh, research uh, in education. So there are many actually other names, other Wuldorf, and there's chartered schools, and there are so many other uh, choices that are out there. Um, and in some uh, provinces, I think maybe uh, Alberta, for example, I think they, 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 the choice is given to the parent. You will be given the money, and then you take it to wherever you want, uh, whichever the school. And I think that's uh, one more, like, uh, we, uh, so private versus public. For me, I am for public education. So when, I, like, just uh, like personally, uh, I know, uh, I, I grew up in a public education, I went to a public, I went to, and my kids are going to the public uh, education. Um, and, and as they say, you know, uh, 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 I, I was saved by the bell myself, you know, like through the, my public education, uh, I, uh, I was saved by that, by what I knew and what I learned in the school when the Somalis were erupted in Somalia. So, but, uh, but also parents to be, uh, to have this choice and to go, to have their own and, and, and I see that I don't see the, the Islamic schools as a burden or as that they are. It's actually creativity. I think. Well, how else do you want to have it? You know, if you if you get public funding, the school will turn into a public school. So it's not going to be any more uh, a private school, and it's not going to be something that you can do all the things creativity that you do that are not maybe available in the public. Uh, schools, and so you're not going to be able to do it because you, there is a, but, but I believe there will be a time when we will have a wider so social and societal consensus where we will be able to use our tax dollars in every creativity in our communities. At that, we are not at that stage. So I, if I am elected as your advocate, I'm going to work with you to achieve that, to go to that direction where we're going to be able to have our tax dollars uh, be, uh, distributed equitably to all of us and then and, and they work, those tax dollars work for us with our creativity and with our choices. So that, that's what I can, uh, I can promise, but I know it's not, in the, it's not going to happen in the, uh, I mean to turn in, uh, Islamic schools, private schools into public schools uh, it's not in the, in the, also the education platform is coming up, uh, I don't think that it's going to be, but there are these other things we can, the, these schools are the heart of the community, so we can bring these other dollars, other tax dollars in these schools to help them with the healthy promotion, to help them with the settlement services, and, and, and we should do that, and I think that's something that we're going to do uh, if any big government is elected. Thank you.